hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to clone a clone a project from gitlab.com in the android studio installed on the windows system and successfully copy and push the files from that project to the gitlab.com so let's get started So first of all, a project should be created on gitlab.com and also the whole project should be committed and pushed to the gitlab.com project. If you don't know how to create a project on gitlab.com and commit and push the files to the gitlab.com then I have mentioned the link for that video in the description to refer that and then view this video so if you have done this everything like you have created a project on gitlab.com and also committed and pushed the files the whole project on the gitlab.com or your friend or any teammate of your project has already committed the whole project to the gitlab.com then you can start for cloning the project so first you will need this ssh url later in this video so first go to the android studio and click on check out project from version control then select git from here As I told you, you will require this SSH URL in this video. So just copy this URL to clipboard. Allow access. Hence the URL is copied to the clipboard. Then go to the back to the address studio. Paste the URL here. And select the parent directory where the actual project would reside and also select the name of the folder I have left the defaults to be there then click on clone now the whole project will be cloned on our PC now you have successfully checked out a studio project from the gitlab.com and have successfully cloned the project now we should open it I click on yes Uh, you see here the message that unsupported module is detected don't worry about this these modules will be created by the android studio for us later while building the project so don't take tension about this just close and ignore that now you will get a pop-up like do you want to add the pcs.xml to the git i suggest to press no button because it will affect the whole project and there will be more errors than expected as i told you you don't have to worry about these errors or these project issues it will be fixed later by the android studio clicking on the project option app java see whether the code is visible to us or not by double clicking on the java file yes the code is perfectly visible to us there are certain issues with the uh, sdk problem this many times happen while closing a project we set up the sdk and we have to select the latest android and press ok now we will see whether the resources files like layout files of any file is visible or not let's click on this activity file.xml you will face this major problem in most of the projects so i will show you how to fix these errors 
I have just asked the Android Studio to rebuild my project by clicking on this hammer and it is giving me the pop-up that the modules below are not import for, imported from Gradle anymore. So we should press OK. The Gradle will build the files for us. Here it is showing R is turned to red because the build is not completed yet. It will go as soon as the Gradle build is completed. So as we can see the Gradle build is finished and there are no errors in any file. So now let's view this .xml file, activity.xml file, whether the issue is resolved or not regarding the design issues. So as we can see there is no such issue. We can edit here our code in the text field instead of hello I will write here hello Chaitanya and click save and go to the design view and see it is not changed to hello Chaitanya now you can see that activity find location.xml is now turned to blue because it is not yet committed and pushed to the GitLab server. So let's now try whether we can commit this file to the gitlab.com successfully. So just click on this DCS up arrow button to commit changes and type a commit message updated activity file location dot xml no need to do anything else just commit and push and just commit if there are no errors you should commit everything is fine if there is no defined remote then i have mentioned the link to the video in which i have shown how to define a remote so do refer that video and just click on updated activity find location that is your commit message and just click push now as you can see one file is committed now it is just pushing that committed file to the gitlab.com and yes uh, we have successfully pushed the file to the gitlab.com now let's see whether it has been successful or not let's just refresh this page of my project and yes as you can see I have successfully updated the activity file location on XFL. so let's view this file by clicking on the message as I told you that I have edited the hello world to hello Chaitanya it is actually showing that one text was deleted that is hello world it is now highlighted by the gitlab one addition is highlighted by a green color and this background is highlighted by red color because red stands for deletion and green stands for addition so thus we have successfully cloned the android project from the gitlab.com to our android studio and committed and pushed the file to the gitlab.com so that's all for this video do hit the like button so bye alvida take care feel amazing hasta hasta